Hi, crafty friends. Crystal here again, wanting to share um, just like some some sh some mail. This is just a mail share. Some is uh, purchased. Some is what I've just received from pen pals and such. Um, I have these two things that are from pen pals, and then I think the rest or most of the rest is stuff that I've purchased. Um, I did. There were supposed to be like a couple other things that I had set aside, and now I kind of can't find them. I'll find them. <laughs> Um, I, I know there's one I already replied to the letter, but I said she sent a beautiful flip book and I had set it aside because I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, but then can you tell my desk has been set up? So I had to like clean off the top of my old desk and whatnot. And so like in that process, I think I just put it in kind of a dumb place because I was doing it in a hurry. I wanted to show you guys, first of all, these gorgeous stamps. This is from one of my very best pen pals in, um, Sweden. This is actually the tag here. I did want to show you this as well. Super cute little address label. Um, it says Cameron on it, which is actually her daughter. I pen pal with her daughter too. So I think this is from her daughter. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with that. I just wanted to show you guys this beautiful envelope. Um, but we will get started. I also have some stamps to share. That's fun. Um, so I did open this really briefly, but I didn't take a detailed look. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's a super cute pocket letter. Oh my gosh. Two of them actually. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So on one side, she has just these beautiful cards. I'm going to call them artist trading cards. I don't know if that's actually what they would be classified as. Okay. Also, we're using the natural light for the most part. I hope it's going to be okay. I think it's light enough. It's a beautiful day today in Seattle. Um, Yeah, like artist trading cards. Gorgeous. Like each of them is totally embellished with um, stuff, you know, stickers and um, like Nouveau drops. And on the back side, she filled it with just beautiful little things, mostly heart themed. Um, maybe a leftover Valentine mail. She did send me another Valentine mail. So, but super cute. A lot of these are like felt, like 3D kind of things. But these are just gorgeous. I got to take one out and show you guys a little closer. Oops. The heart popped out the back. Look at the beautiful detail. Oh my gosh, she oh, she used like glitter pens. Can you guys see that? Totally, there you go. She used like glitter pens to embellish the flowers and stuff. Oh, wow. This is so special, so pretty. I feel so loved. Anyways, okay, let me just put this back in here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Carpe diem, memories made. Hello. I love it beautiful beautiful vintage style oh my gosh she is an artiste both of them are the mother and the daughter oh, gorgeous I recognize this um this little girl I cannot tell you the line that it's from but it's Spanish I'm pretty sure um super cute I have like a couple of papers from that line oh and just fun little bits and bobs hey you cute like some sticker oh that's a sticker a dimensional sticker super cute oh my god I love it oh I'm so excited oh I love these daffodils beautiful for spring and this little girl walking her her little it's a fox that's not even a dog you make cloudy days bright this is just beautiful I feel so loved so pretty and I like how this one is um like you know, each of these had like one box was its individual box. That was the end of the artwork. But, you know, these ones are like a whole collage. Gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. All right. Sorry. I feel like I'm a little low energy right now. I do have a coffee here. Mm. Okay. And then I will show you. <laughs> Cameron made these for me. These are freaking adorable. So I had asked her, uh, Cameron was the daughter. I had asked her what her favorite animal was. And um, I had also sent her like in a separate letter, like a um, make a, a themed mail with your favorite color. And um, so I think that like she kind of responded in both. But look at how cute these little killer whales are. She, is this crochet or knit? Oh, I'm terrible. I think this is crochet. Or maybe, no, I think it's knit. Oh my God. But whatever. She made them herself. So cute. Look at these darling little, they're squishy. 
And then she challenged me back to make her a knitted or crocheted project. And I'm like, oh, geez, might need a little time <laughs> to live up to this challenge because it's been a really, really long time since I've done either of those things. And I was never like a professional to begin with. Um, okay, real quick, I got a little scraper for, um, this is for Cricut. I did buy myself, I think I told you guys, I was thinking of buying myself um, the Brother Scan and Cut. I did go ahead and buy it. Tried it out yesterday, uh, ruined a mat. <laughs> That's what this is for. Um, or maybe it was the day, it was totally the day before. Um, and yeah, so turns out I need a low tack mat. It came with like a medium tack one, but I, so what I did is I tried to put, um, like some sticker paper on it, which that is something else that I do want to update you guys on eventually. Well, we're just chit chat. I'm going to show you this as well. Um, these are from Archer and Olive and these are their cal calligograph. I don't know really how to say it. Um, pens they also have another kind but when I made my first order they were out of stock of these and I really did want to try them and so here we are um oh my god I'm like searching for like just a white piece of printer paper my printer is actually in the other room like the office room that um AJ sits in as well so okay well this, someone's a genius and it's not me I'm just gonna use this cute piece of scrap because I cut on it. Um, anyways, look at these beautiful colors and they're double-sided. There's a smaller and a shorter. So I'm gonna do just like a little swatchy mix swatch. Um, my handwriting is, I don't wanna hear about it, okay? <laughs> Hello, ooh, these write beautifully. Cute, cute. Okay, okay, I'm like not, a professional with my lettering but I try and I think it's fun these are cute I really like broad and fine magenta that was the magenta color um anyways what was I talking about I was talking about um knitting or crocheting or Cameron or something Ooh, I love this color cotton candy very pretty berry mist Ooh, that's a nice light color Mm, I actually really like that. Getting a good light color like that can be kind of hard for me at least. Um. Oh yeah, the Cricut machine. That's what I was talking about. Or the 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 brother. Brother. Pretty blue color. Um. Yeah. So I tried. Oh, I was talking about the sticker paper. Um. Orchid. Love it. I tried making some, and they printed wonderfully. They did the scanning and the cut. It did it all, but then I couldn't get them off of the dang mat. Cause you know, they're, if you've never worked with one before, they, they get on um, like they're tacky a bit so that it stays put so that it like scans and cuts properly and everything. And then you're normally just supposed to be able to like peel it right off. But um, I couldn't because I didn't realize. So anyways, um, I have to get myself, I, I still need to clean it off. I like started, I couldn't get it finished. I think I'm just gonna put it in the sink and try to scrub it down. If anybody has like tips, freaking let me know. Um, I did make this cute little box. This was like project number one that they include as like, um, like a quick start thing, make this cute little box. So I did make this little box. That one pulled off just fine. But the sticker paper that I bought, um, which is just like a matte, um, not like a matte vinyl paper, from Amazon oh, did not come off of the sticky paper. So I will update you guys once I get it like figured out. Um, I'm not gonna swatch these. They are pretty. You can see I got both of the sets that they had um, available on the website. So that was the Flourish and the Blossom collection. And I swatched the Flourish collection um, just briefly because I kind of just wanted to see how it write and stuff. Anyways, I can swatch more later. If you guys so choose, just let me know. Um, and then I did get a big bunch of wax seals and, or the wax seal stamps. And I did make some wax seals cause I wanted to show you guys. Um, let's start with this one just because I love a good detailed. Let me flick my extra light on. Did that help at all? I'm not sure it did, but anyways, I love this little, uh, mushroom. I love a good shaped, shaped stamp. This one is also a shaped stamp. The moon, love it. I did some marbling with these guys. 
Um, here's another, I mean, it's a square, but squares are shapes. Pretty, I love these cute little bunny ears. Perfect for Easter coming up. I thought this one was just so pretty. Owl post. Pretty flowers. What are these, daisies or something? This one says, please deliver. Oh no, it says kindly deliver to. Um, it's not incredibly, incredibly readable, which is a little disappointing because I was thinking, you know, put it on like the outside of an envelope for like, you know, legitimately like a kindly deliver to um, sticker. I'm going to try it. I think um, if I put some like gold marker on there, it would stand out a lot better. So I'll try it. Oh, I love this one. It's like a galaxy coffee situation. Love it. Books or a cat. Sorry, it's a cat on a stack of books. Oh, I love this one too. Just like kind of a simple hand holding, um, I was going to say a rose. I don't know if that's actually a rose. Holding a flower. And then hand with some butterflies. And, oh, look, I have two of that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Hand with butterflies. All right, cool. Now, um, let's go on to this mail, and then I will show you the stamps that I got. So this is from Paula is her name, and we are in a crafty Facebook group. Um, this was packaged inside of, like, a plastic um, like a clear see-through oh and I haven't opened this one up. It was inside of like a clear plastic thing. So, um, you know, all of this stayed really nice looking. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. What is, oh my Lord. Oh, oh, this is totally the loaded envelope swap. Okay. I sent mine off to a gal in the UK. Um, probably like not last week, but the week before. So it maybe hasn't gotten to her yet. Oh, Okay, these things just kind of fell out in the mail because there is a pocket down in here and then there's like there's like two pockets, you see? Oh my God, I love this paper. This is totally Jen Hatfield, isn't it? Staying in is the new going out. Oh, this is beautiful. Loaded envelope. Love it. Okay. Oh, Self-care check-in. Oh my God. Oh my. What? This is so cute. How are you feeling right now? What thoughts am I having? And did she like write all of this herself impeccable handwriting oh my goodness tools to improve distress this is honestly so great oh my gosh feeling anxious <gasps> i love this idea i might steal this i totally do deal with a lot of anxiety um in my daily life i feel like a lot of crafters do you know because like we come and we use crafting as like a uh like a calming creative outlet this is incredible body love. This is incredible. I love this. I might steal this idea because I see how she put it together. It's just like, you know, some nice cards where she rounded the corners and then she just like punched out circles and glued them on and used a brad to put it all together. Like pretty simple construction, but pack is a punch. That's gorgeous. And I can just tuck right in there. A letter of kindness. If this actually, this actually is a letter. Okay. I will not show you guys that. I'll read that later. Ah. Yeah, she did like a whole like self-care package. This is actually really cute. It looks like a, like a, um, like a, what is the word I'm looking for? Masquerade. It looks like a masquerade mask, but some eye patches. Uh, sheet mask for the face. Oh my gosh. I'm totally going to have a, a nice night in with all of this. <gasps> this beautiful pen it says you got this. Love it. I love that color. It's like a, it's almost teal. I think it's a little bit more green than a true teal, but still beautiful. Pure Vita bracelets, very pretty. Every bracelet helps something, something helps provide jobs, full-time jobs in Costa Rica. Wow, beautiful. Oh my God, there's a flip book too. Okay, beautiful stickers. This beautiful lemon paper matches lovely. Beautiful stickers. Okay, let me, I'm trying to read organized oh, this is gorgeous one day at a time she used a velcro love it oh my god she made a notebook oh what oh my god i love it okay i would say she probably put this notebook in this flip book if she made the notebook i would be like actually so impressed 
This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, I love it. I'm totally gonna use this. It's like a mindfulness 30 day notebook. This is incredible. Paula, this is a beautiful mail. Holy, how am I gonna repay her? She sent me a beautiful mail before from that Facebook group. Um, we were swap partners. So this one was not, or we must've been swap partners. Um, so this one wasn't like totally out of the blue, but she sent me an out of the blue one before that was just gorgeous. Um, it was travel themed if I'm remembering correctly. She, everything she puts out so pretty. Okay. Oh, I feel so loved. All right. The last thing is some stamps just from the United States post office. I want to show you guys. So this is, oh, happy International Women's Day. That's literally today because today's the 8th, I think. Um, so these just came out. I did pre-order a couple sheets. Uh, so they did come to me like yesterday. Um, but I think they might've launched today for International Women's Day. Um, I just thought they were really fun. It's, I don't remember who these are, but they're supposed to depict, um, you know, just like the silhouette of some famous women. So this is like a famous swimmer and I honestly don't know, maybe like a famous gymnast or, okay. Yeah. It doesn't say on here. If you would, if you were to go on the website, um, it would explain it a little bit more, but these are famous women, um, in history, I think in just American history, I, I actually don't know, but famous women, woohoo. Um, and then all these other ones are vintage and I love vintage postage. I use it all the time and I just got some extra sheets. Um, and I, uh, I mostly buy on like eBay and I also found hip stamp. Um, so those are two places I like to buy, but I'm not going to be able to link these because they are like a lot of places just sell like one sheet cause that's what they have. Um, so I won't be able to link any specifics. It's kind of like a, you have to like get your buying strategy right for buying vintage postage because you can overpay significantly. Um, I usually pay like a little over face value, but, which I don't mind because I think it's something really special, but I don't like to pay significantly over face value. So that's, that's why I say I'm not going to link anything because that's kind of like, you know, that's your own decision, how much you want to pay. Cause you know, you could go to the post office and just pay exactly 58 cents and get these stamps you know, and like, this is a 32 cent stamp, but you know, if I broke it down, I probably paid 34 cents for the stamp or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, love this one again, 32 cent stamp space discovery. I have a lot of, um, space themed stamps. I would say like, I've got a fair amount of vintage ones, um, cause they're cool. And the USPS has come out with some cool stamps. Um, and then these ones I got, be, well, because they're pretty, you know, garden, but also because they are 20 cent, which is the price currently for an extra ounce. And I use extra ounce all the time. And you like, you know, putting a, um, a wax seal on a package or a, a letter counts as it's, it's the 20 cents. It technically wouldn't be extra ounce. It would be the non-machinable surcharge, but either of those things is an extra 20 cents. So um, that's why I got these and because they're pretty, but they'll also be perfect for extra ounce. Same with this sheet. I got a really good deal on this sheet. Um, oftentimes this sheet goes for well over face value. And I think I got this again for like almost face value. So I was like, yep, I'll take it. Um, it has, I think it's the state bird for each state. I know there's 50 of them and, um, there's one for each state. I would assume it's the state bird. Anyways, they are so pretty. And again, they're 20 cents. So they're perfect for adding extra ounce or non-machinable. Super happy about this sheet. Um, this one, I just thought it was pretty. Five cents. You know, it's like green. I like um, the colored ones. So it, it, just, it says Canada, but it is United States postage. It's just like a depiction of Canada. I don't really know. Um, but really pretty. like the green color. Um, oh, gosh. I should have taken this out of the bag. Usually they do come in like a nice little glassing like this because you know these do have the um glue on the back so if they got wet they could stick to one another like if you live in a humid place you should definitely keep them in the little doodads um again I loved this one Johnny Appleseed it wasn't one that I was familiar with and I just love the ones that have color five cents I love the um the font that they used here I just thought that was special and again it was a pretty good price so I said why not um, I love these sheets. These are ones again that tend to go for over face value, but I think I bought this for face value. So I just had to pay like 50 cents for shipping or something like that. So I jumped on it. Um, 
yeah, so I got the Southern Florida Wetland. I think there's 10 stamps on here. Some of them are 10, some of them are eight. I don't know. Um, love this sheet. If you're not familiar, this was, um, also I got the Pacific Coast Rainforest. I love this one. I, I live in the Pacific Coast Rainforest. So this one's like extra special to me because this, this is like from the area where I live. Um, yeah, I recognize all these things. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, they did a series, This Nature in America. You can say, see this one says second in series. This one says eighth in series. I do have one of each of the series somewhere. Um, but, and I kind of don't want to use them because like I do have one of each. I'm kind of hoarding them. I try not to do that with stamps. I buy them to use them. I don't call myself a collector. Like I don't need another thing to collect. Um, anyways, but yeah, I wanted another sheet just for, for using purposes. Love this one. Again, I think... Is this a state one? No, no, I don't think this is. This is just 22 cent stamps. Again, super pretty. Um, yeah, just all different kinds of animals. I think they are like native to America animals, but I don't think these are state specific. Um, and then these cats, which I literally just used one today. I thought they were so cute. Um, I think they're so funny. Like, look at this cat right here. Look at that Persian cat. They're silly. Anyways, um, I use these as well. Like 22 cents. I'd probably use that as an extra ounce stamp. And like, you are paying like two cents over what the price would be, but I kind of don't care. Um, super cute. And then I thought these were really fun. Dinosaur stamps. These are 32 cent stamps. Um, just a really pretty sheet. Oh, and then I do have a couple little randos here, some Olympics stamps, again, some more like space stamps, super pretty, um, a progress in electronics. I do like this stamp. I've used it before. Telephone, more space. And then these ones are so pretty too, these gems. All right. So I think that's where I'll leave it today. I do have a big um, scrapbook.com order coming. I bought a whole bunch of Nouveau drops. So I'll share that soon. Um, and I did get some crafting done this weekend after I built my desk, which it did, it did take a while to build the dang thing. Um, so maybe I'll have some project shares as well. Uh, anyways, hope you guys are doing great. Have a good week. Bye.